Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about why I believe digital drawing can help you free your art. If you've ever been stuck on something and you just don't know what to do or what to draw, I found that drawing digital helps me a lot when I'm having that brain block. So stay tuned and see why I believe that. Okay, so what do I mean when I said digital drawing could help you free your art? Um, I found that when I'm drawing sometimes, um, I would get a lot of brain block or, you know, art block, and I just don't know what to draw. And I found in the illustration that you're watching now, I had this moment where I wasn't really sure what I wanted to draw. So I was just drawing lines and you know suddenly a, a face started showing up and then I just had an idea well actually I didn't even have an idea what to go with this yet I was just going through the motions and seeing if there's anything that would pop out uh, after drawing one of the eyes I noticed that I drew it a little darker uh, than normal so I just went with it I didn't erase it and then uh, I had an idea of maybe I could create an android like who's and his face is like burned off or shot off or something um, and normally when I'm doing this on pen or paper I just stop and I don't continue uh, because it's you can't erase it um, you, 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 you can if you're using a pencil but normally um, I like to draw on it with ink um, I just like the feel and the look of ink pens and you know when you're working with ink it's permanent um, you could make adjustments um, but once it's on the paper it's really hard to, to make any changes um, so I felt that in digital art there's you, you have so many tools at your disposal to make adjustments as you go along uh, if you make a line that is not straight or you're not really happy with it, uh, you can just, you know, do an undo button and go back and redraw the line. But when it comes to paper, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love um, traditional mediums like paper and ink is still something that I do to practice, especially uh, if I'm watching TV with my girlfriend or uh, I'm out at a park or something like that, I always bring a sketchbook and a few pens and a pencil. And I sketch and, you know, always practicing, always trying to get better at this craft. But when it comes to digital, when I'm at home and I have the time to actually, you know, create some art that I'm happy with, I always tend to go to digital because I could just, you know, set my mind and be free. Um, I could start, I always start off with, with just a large blob of something until something catches my eye and then I start to form a shape. Um, I, if you've seen Kim Jong-gi or other artists like him, they always know exactly what they're going to draw. Well. They, they have an idea of what they want to draw. They already know the angle. I'm not at that level, not even close. So for me, when I see artists do that, especially when they're doing it on traditional mediums, it's kind of difficult for me to try to emulate that. I mean, I always, it's, it's a challenge. Uh, I don't back away from it. I, I gladly try to copy um, their style and try to do that on my sketchbook. But I feel like it's much easier to do that on digital. And then for me, it's the opposite. A lot of people say, um, you know, start off with paper and pen and then move your way to digital. Um, for me, I feel like I, I did start off with paper and pen, but I took a break for a long time. And then when I did go back to art, I just jumped straight into um, digital. And when I did that, uh, I bought an iPad and then I started working on it. And I found that it was just easier 
to transition from digital to paper because on digital I felt that you know I worked with the the spacing and I could delete and redo it and redo it and redo it on paper once I kind of figured out the the space between things and and the shape and and the angle that I want to use drawing on a piece of paper is not that bad um so that's why I believe that you know it's a lot easier doing this um so tell me what you guys think in the comments below and if you have any questions please let me know thank you guys perfect humanity um, rounding up robots and uh, gunning them down and this poor fellow was one of those robots that were taken away and gunned down and this is the moment that it happened where his eyes will start to close Hope you guys like that. <laughs> Thanks for watching.